Hey howdy everybody, my name is Keon, and welcome back to Finding Paradise Episode 6, where in the last episode, we got a little bit more insight on Faye and Colin's relationship, saw something really weird happen at a park with Asher, and, uh, things went a little bit haywire in the future from where we are now, with the, uh, concert, the machine, the music, everything. We also learned that Colin can't play the scales. We also learned that I do not remember the names of the first the characters in To the Moon, and I'm very embarrassed about that. But we're gonna put that behind us now, because her name is River, his name is Johnny, and this is Colin, that's Faye, his wife is Sophia, their son is Asher, and I'm good. I'm good in the brain. We got everything recording, we're good to go. So, let's start by preparing this clock memento. I feel like the clock is just, is happening a lot here. Um, the puzzles are getting a little bit more a little bit more intense, so I'm curious if I do that, good, okay, then shove this off, then do that, and then shove that, shove that, shove, oh, oh no, I can't shove it, okay, well I gotta, oh, I'm so stupid, the answer was right in front of me, it's a clock, it's a different clock though, I appreciate the fact that the clock changes whenever we activate one, that's kind of rude, I can almost hear her snores through the strings, I can almost see her snores. Ah, because the because of the Z's. Let the do let the dudette snooze. Yeah. Okay. So I'm glad that they you are actually able to interact with her. I was so upset in the last episode that we couldn't do that. Um, you know, if Faye was so important that he recalls so much about her even now, what happened to her? We haven't seen any traces later on. I have a few guesses. Dagnabbit. Dagnabbit. I'm sorry, there was a dramatic pause there. Because she's not going to tell us our guesses. we got to figure it out ourselves. <gasps> Emergency airline meeting. Where the hell are we? An airline pilot hat. Okay. What is this? Luggage? Oh, I think he- is he late for his flight? What's the dealio? What's the- what's going on, guys? Crutches? Wait, is this a hospital? Wait, is Asher being born? When are we? Asher's being born! Asher's getting borned! The delivery room, maybe. Who are you? Wrong room, sorry! <laughs> I like fruit. Always, always with the fruit baskets. Wait, I see a tomato. <laughs> a fruit basket with a tomato, which is scientifically classified as a fruit, edited by Dr. Rosalind, but culinarily classified as a vegetable, edited by Dr. Watts. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. Just exploring is so worth it in these games. Absolutely 100%. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right, we're back to running. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. We got, something's going on. Up, oh, baby Asher, called it. Sorry, Fia, the, the storm grounded my plane back back all day, uh, and, and I just. You made it. Well, I missed the birthing part. The kid's alive, so I, I made it. Is, is that? No, it's not our baby. That's somebody else's baby. I like that he's still in purple. They keep the same color schemes throughout life. Honey, you're you're vibrating the baby. <laughs> you're vibrating the baby. I'm just I'm gonna be right back. Is everything okay? Colin? The tones just changed. What's he doing with the paper? 
The paper's important, remember. The paper's always important. The paper's a blank canvas. Anything can happen. I'm telling you. It's important. You're happy though, right? Of, of course I am. It's just that... I don't know. I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly seeing him there... I guess I just need a moment for it to sink in. Hey, it's okay. I feel it too, you know? But, well, maybe it's as they say. Maybe we're never meant to feel ready. How, how could I, when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't, I don't know what changed, but you're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. <sighs> I couldn't even make it here when he was born. Well, hey, we didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. What matters is you're here now, and we're gonna be okay. Baby Asher's crying! Man, they grow young so quick. Yep. He made a paper airplane. And he threw it to his wife, who just gave birth. Oh, he's showing the baby. Look, this is what daddy does. He makes paper airplanes. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Is Baby Asher, no, Baby Asher wouldn't be the regret absence. Okay, I mean, these are, that's a good regret, I guess. Colin missed the birth of Asher. Now, is his hat, or with the paper, oh, the paper, it's glowing. The, 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 the paper airplane is clearly the next thing, which is gonna get us to jump, jump back in time here. All right, one, two, three, driver, move that bus. Activate that memento. Baby Asher was just born, still covered in juices. Boom, look at that, look at that skill. Ain't nothing but a thing, yo. Word to your mother. Paper airplane, taking us back. Would be odd if it took us forward. Can I talk to them again? No, I don't want to activate the memento. I want to, I want to talk to them. Okay, well they're gonna be okay. It was a, it was a miraculous moment. <sighs> How could I when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. Eva, did you, did you hear that echo? So, he's not as quirky as an adult, but why? Uh, wow, far out. Where is he? Did we get drifted from the spawn point? Don't worry, I got this. Are you gonna punch through the wall? He's on the other side, right? We could just, shh. Just looking around and look, Neil. All we need to do to get over that is over, to get over that wall. I, I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Oh my God! Is that a claw shot? Is that hook shot? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. All right. I guess it's straightforward enough. Yeah! <laughs> he made a link sound. Oh god, okay. This is a click. I missed. I didn't get as powerful. I can feel it, Eva. What? This hook shot. Is the hook shot that will pierce the heavens! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell did you do? You Did you grab... Is that Jupiter? No, it's Saturn. No, it is Jupiter, I was right. Dude, unshrink Jupiter and put it back in orbit right now. Relax, it was copy and paste, not cut paste. Not to mention, in part procedurally generated. Now, let me just 
turn on its uh, localized gravity. <laughs> Wait, what? So this is how we get over there. It turns on its gravity, it sucks us up to the planet, and then we turn it off and we drop onto the roof. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with you? What? You said it was all right to use my hookshot. Now, let's just turn the gravity off and... I'm so, I hate you so much that I love you, Neil. All right, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I don't know how you know entertaining it is to watch me just like have pure enjoyment for Watts, but damn, man. <clears throat> by Jupiter. Oh, sorry, by Ju, I was gonna think, by Jupiter, the moon. I don't know, you know, like Batman, but it's, by Jupiter, thanks for the lift. <laughs> Nodded back. <laughs> At least it wasn't Uranus. Was, was, what was that? <laughs> Nothing. Let's get going. I think that was I think that was a joke, Eva. <laughs> I think that was a joke. <laughs> oh my god, we would have pierced Uranus. That would have been awful. And smelly. Huh. Talk about staying up past bedtime. Well, there's the tire, so maybe we'll get over there later. If the tire comes into play again. Don't even bother! See, I don't like that I like them. I don't like that I like Faye and Colin. Mostly because I know that Colin doesn't end up with Faye, and that I know that Colin does not want to erase his family. He wants to stay with, with Fia and Asher. So Faye and Colin can't happen. It just can't happen. It's not gonna fly over, you know. We're too far apart. So, are you even gonna finish telling me that story? Hmm? The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid? There's not much to it, you know how it goes. The, bir the bird had a broken wing and I took care of it for a while. Uh, the vet took it in after, but... But what? But I tried to steal the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I, I knew I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was one of my only friends, I guess. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to let it go. Wow, what a load of sap saturine. Sappy saturine? I don't know what saturine is. I might give you a handkerchief for a, uh, I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? Hey, birds can be lovable. I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Gosh, always making fun of me. Everyone I told that story to either thought that I got, uh, that, I thought that or got bored to sleep. Yeah, can't help you there. It was a beautiful story, Colin. I didn't get bored, I didn't fall asleep. But everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care for much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Or maybe you just sucked at telling that story. I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that work out for you? Not every story is meant to be told, you know? Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how did it end? I, I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but it, it came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I, I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with daydreaming back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. Please make it, please make it, please make it, please make it. It frickin' made it! Huh. You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper plane, you know? We'd fly all over the world, seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just... I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> You can't fly in paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, why don't you go and become a pilot? Huh. Wait, you're serious. 
Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because, how? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to go find one and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. If you just let it be, maybe it could. Up, oh, the parents woke up. I should go, Colin. I know. Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. You two cannot happen! What if what if this is part of his daydream? We already know that Colin's daydreaming. He literally mixes up reality with reality with uh, fantasy. And uh, what if what if Faye isn't exactly a hundred percent true? Like flying on a paper airplane. What if there was no balcony across the way? What if this is just how he justifies his actions in life? I don't know. Like keeping secrets from Fia, or becoming a pilot, or liking the cello scale. I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas here. But what happened to her if she is real? Well, the friendly girl next door would be one way to get inspired to fly, I guess. Yeah. Remembering all these late night conversations all while on his dying bed. All right. Colin's cello. It's kind of crammed out here. Let's head inside. All right, let's go. Oh, he's sleeping. <gasps> he's upgraded his room. Pac-Man. Wow, it seems like he ran into a poster sale. Or puberty. We got music. We got Pac-Man. Let's check the clock. Check Colin. With a balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident in his sleepwalklessness. In his sleepwalklessness? What's this poster? Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and a barrier reef. Hmm, that looks familiar. It's the same place as the painting hanging above the bed in his elderly days. He's also keeping this exact same picture in the attic, even now. For a teenager, he sure had old-fashioned taste in posters. A clue. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, F Faye said, why don't you go and become a pilot? So this green book, sorry, so, so this green book from the shelf is just a journal? Seems legit. But the pages were blank in the future. Assorted VHS tapes consisting of sci-fi, classic, and horror movies. There's a catcher's mitt. The pages are, the pages are blank in the future. And it's supposed to be the paper airplane book. So if you wrote in it, did he tear out the pages about Faye and... Did he tear out the pages about Faye and put in blank pages? A Rue Dog plush toy sits in the bookcase. That's exactly where I put my plushes in the bookcase. Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna hide them. It's locked. We gotta find a key. Or we gotta find another memento or a link, rather. I'm not, I'm not seeing one. Okay, so maybe outside. There's something I missed outside. Uh, let's see. Hey, Neil, are you, is there something I'm missing here? Oh, maybe I can look at these posters. The poster of a horror movie. Huh. Didn't think he had it in him. Okay. I gotta stop pressing space. Boom. And launch. Okay, so we're doing the green notebook again. So... Do that, do that, do that. 
Uh, and do that. Boom. Ta! -da! Green Notebook inbound. So this should be taking us to the future of the Green Notebook, where the pages are blank. Yes. Active in memento. Wait, where's Neil? Were we standing in the same spot, or was he already gone? Oh, he brought the notebook on his his plane trips. Oh, he's the co-pilot. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot, huh? More like cliff hanger. You know, like an airplane hanger. Come on, Neil, I'm funny too. <laughs> uh, Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 390. Cactus 135, Oakland Center, altimeter setting 3007, see ya. Altimeter 3007, Cactus 135, out. See, Greenhorn? You gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio, at home to your wife. But the chief instructor said, do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award-winning mustache? I just noticed the, the mustache. That's the only thing that's on him of detail. Don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. They're yes, Captain, and landing gear down. <laughs> That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, 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 you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, Captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh... Landing gear down? <laughs> Son of a gun. They send me all the brainless <laughs> the brainless pretty ones. <laughs> this this can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes, I hope. G note, Captain Ernst. Captain Ernst, award-winning mustache. <laughs> it's fantastic. Let's check out Colin. Yes, Captain. Landing gear down. <laughs> yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. <laughs> I had one request, not to send me a, a gourd. And what did they do? They sent me a gourd. Ugh. Ungrateful. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? It's just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on there. Wait, it, wait, I'm sorry. A blurry pre-flight checklist glued onto the note's spine. So he didn't put it in there. Charlene, <clears throat> well, how was your first day? Is Captain Ernst always like that? I, I barely did a thing, but sit there. Ha, huh, yeah, you should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night? The one, the other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. Oh, uh, tell them thanks, but I better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first trimester. I, I'm, I'm away for long enough as it is. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, uh, we're, we're thinking Asher. Okay. So is the captain's hat the next, uh, my wife is just about halfway to the first trimester. Okay, is this the, yeah, it's the hat. Mento detected. Can we check out the people that are hanging out in the back? I'm assuming these are the other, the other flight attendants. All right, let's go. Bam. And bam, another short one. And he didn't have anything else to say? Okay, good. Prepare! We're just zooming through these mementos. They're very short, very short segments, but there's a lot of there's a lot of jumping back and forth, so. To be fair, I don't know how this one works. Oh, I get it, it's just blocking uh, a row of three. So, I need to just get. Okay. That was easy enough. Captain's hat. So, this is his older self. Right? Because in the timeline, we were just a kid, and then we, we, I can't. No, I don't want to, I'm past, hold on. It's not showing me the timeline. Okay, but this is his older self, so now we're gonna jump using the captain's hat to a younger self, which is possibly when he, we're, we're coming up on the center of this. Because these, these events are starting to get closer and closer.
Well, not as close, but still, closer. Because now he's a kid that went to go check out the airport. Go on, ask him! Uh, you gonna ask him? Uh, excuse me. Uh, are, are you an airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can, can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at dispatch. See? I told you it's worth a try. Look, there you go. Something happened. Let's check out the hat. I can't. Make turn up and follow the hall. Dispatch. Okay. Nothing to really check out, it seems. There's an exit. Um. Uh, maybe the exit's gonna be the last place we go. Because remember, follow. Follow. It's important to follow. Who's this? Barry. Ah! Uh, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? He's not gonna get his candy bar. <laughs> Poor Barry. I bet he knows something about it. Hey, I, I don't think you've—I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, uh, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't that expensive to tr is it that ex isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time The pay is not much, but the discounts on the training flights help Okay, I see uh, the importance of a poster back here It's a plane a painting of a flying single-engine plane I think this painting was hanging in Colin's attic when I went there earlier Took home a souvenir I guess How very odd Okay well, we can go up, which is the nearest area. I'm, I don't think there's anything in here. Nope, nada. No fine mustaches. Oh, that'd be awesome if we ran into the mustache person. Like, they're just sitting in the back with their mustache hanging out. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be fantastic. Barry, you get any luck yet? No, no luck, okay. Fair enough, Barry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you. Really? It's a cat plane. What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. <laughs> it's so stupid. Well, maybe somebody find amusement in this. So much extra propulsion. <laughs> oh my God. Is this poster important? A poster of a control panel of a small aircraft. Surprised that Colin didn't take that. I think it's interesting that the uh, the posters are somewhat coming into play. A diagram of the airport and its runways. Okay. Hmm. Well, I wonder if Colin ever becomes a pilot. The question is just lingering in the air. Let's talk to Faye first. There are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. Kathleen, uh, I don't, I never read the names before I read the person, but when it's a new character, I read it. Do I do that? I don't know. Maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, so Kathleen says, we do offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now and I'll let you, I'll let him know you're coming. The... The owner of the entire airport? Yep. It's his family's owned airport. His office is on the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And also it's probably mafia. Mafia? Uh, what mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, uh, just like the Godfather. Let's let's go visit. W what? <laughs> Trying to be all sneaky. Silly kids. Silly kids, mafia for gangsters. Can we talk to Kathleen anymore? It 
it's locked. Of course it is. I'm ready to go, sir. I got here early, got the weight and balance calculated, and the logbooks all checked. Two words. Low clouds. <laughs> yep, you're canceled for the day. Aw. Sorry, man. We're at the mercy of the weather here. I think it's interesting that I can have a conversation with that ghost. I, I very rarely try to talk to the ghosts that are sitting around. Um, hey, you might want to tell the folks that there's broken ceiling coming in at about 1500. Wait, there's broken ceiling coming? I'm guessing it's a flight term. Huh, sounds like someone's getting rescheduled. It's a good day for some circuits, though. Ha ha ha! I don't... Oh, circuits, as in like flying circuits. Have I been missing conversations with other people? I feel like I should go back down and, and talk to the... The spirits of people. You know what? Quick detour and jump cut. Okay, anybody, anybody want to have a conversation with me? No? Dr. Evil Roslyn, Dr. Neil Watts, uh, just looking for some chit, nope, nothing. Okay, that was a waste of time and jump cut. What would be funny is if I didn't jump cut. <laughs> it's like, wow, Keon, way to, way to take editing advice from yourself. <laughs> Okay, well, we're back. We're back. <laughs> we're back. That was a waste of time. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, serious moment. It's dark in here. Oh, my God. It is the Mafia. <laughs> That's why the Godfather was on the TV earlier. I love you, Ken Go. I love you so much. You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they, they told me about. Look, sir, I, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. <laughs> There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. Hmm. <laughs> but you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I, I don't, sir. I see. Yet you come here, on the day of my own daughter's flight exam, to request my hospitality, to make use of my facility, without an offer? Do you disrespect me in my family's airport? Oh, for God's sake! Psst, tell him you've got strong arms, and, and can help out around the airport. Uh, I, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh? Are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Yeah, I am. Hmm. Interesting proposal. It's true. There have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could, uh, use a hand. Very well. Your offer is one I won't refuse. Another... Amateur, oh, sorry, another Amaretto Sour, Ricardo. And hold the Amaretto. So basically, he's just having sour mix. <laughs> what the hell? No alcohol for this guy. Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. Uh, quick, thank you and step back. Th thank you for your kindness, sir. <laughs> See? You did it! Wait a minute. All that's happened is... It's just that I applied for a job. Shh. You're practically the underboss now. <laughs> All for the love of God. So, uh, assuming... Exaggeration of memories. Is this, like, racist to Italians? I, I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. <laughs> but he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching the movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. Note, first job, all right, first job note, first job note. P practically the underboss, totally. It's for <laughs> oh my God, oh, okay. Oh, there's a little cat thing up there. Wait, there's actually just a cat up there. It just fell over. I think the cat broke. <laughs> I think the cat broke. Oh my god. Oh wait, it's alright. <laughs> hmm, nope, guess not. I'm gonna keep playing with this freaking cat. 
Quit wasting time staring at the cat, Eva. I'm not even sure if it's a real cat anymore. <laughs> okay, we can't do anything more with the cat. Oh my god. This game falls, puts you in a, a false sense of enjoyment before, enjoyment before it just crushes you, I'm sure. An amaretto sour drink without the amaretto. That's the memento? Alcohol? Alcoholic beverage, all right. We're gonna pop this, and we're going to transfer ourselves to the next place. Wait! Wait! Wait, we could have gone outside. Remember, there was an arrow we could go outside. I'm not leaving this place yet, because we need to see what's outside this airport, unless there, I, I'm mistaken and there wasn't an outside. Jump cut, jump cut? No, no jump cuts? We're almost outside anyway. They just left, and there is an arrow. I almost spaced. So wait, what's the point of being out here? Is there some importance? There's nothing out here. Uh... Oh my god. The logo. The logo for this tiny airport is a paper airplane. Wait, that w I already knew that from the inside though. But I didn't pick- I didn't pick up on it. Okay, I- I don't know if I'm missing something out here or not. But why would I be able to come out here? I have no idea. Oh, please don't say I missed something. All right. Well, this is going to be the end of the episode regardless. So what we learned in this episode as we walk back is that Colin exaggerated. Yeah, see the paper airplane logo. I, did, I knew I saw it, but I just never picked up on it. Um... Things are happening. Weird things are happening, and the data is broken, and things are just being stitched together that don't make sense. We're spiraling into Colin's mind, meeting that sweet point of midlife, and uh, yeah. So like I said, that's gonna be it for this episode of Finding Paradise. I look forward to activating this memento in the next episode. Um, I'm excited to see more happening. I freaking love the fact that this is a thing right now. That this is a thing right there. The, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. But <clears throat> that's going to be it for me. So I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing if you have. And as always, keep calm. I'm Keon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.